Malaysian Open 500 event and was runner-up in the Malaysian Masters, also a 500. The Olympic bronze medalist, the reigning Asian champion, Anthony Sinisuka Ginti. Sixth appearance at the Denmark Open and prior to this year, he had never won a match. Lost in the first round on his five previous visits to Ordenza. Well, I can tell you that this will be a third meeting between these two players, and although Anthony Ginting is the current world number two, he's never beaten his left-handed opponent. Wing Hong Yang has won both and previous Anthony. encounters. Red and black for you. That's red. This side. Anthony Ginting so change, chooses yes. ends, having won the toss of the coin. And I think that's very sensible because whilst we thought on the opening days of the tournament that it was very nearly perfect playing conditions, I think as the tournament has progressed, we've noticed the drift affecting the top players a little bit more because uh, obviously when uh, top players have to play against other top players, uh, a slight difference in ends and a slight difference in drift does make a bit of a difference. Yeah. Wen Hong Yang is 24 years of age from Fuzhou, the capital of Fujian province. Went down one place on the world rankings this week to 22, fourth Chinese player on the world ranking. As I was saying, first appearance here, two finals from 17 tournaments this year. And in the very first round, he beat a former champion, the 2017 winner here at the Denmark Open. Kidambi Shrikanth, and what a fantastic match it was to an hour and 14 minutes, 21-16 in the deciding game. And then beat uh, Toma Junior Popov, who in the first round had beaten the Asian Games gold medalist, Li Shifeng. Had to save two game points in the second game before winning it 25-23. So to Annie's Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, 27 today. Born in Chimahi, just west of Bandung in West Java. That equates to five foot seven, and he's enjoying his 29th week in total at his career high of two. In the first round, he beat the European Games silver medalist, the left-handed Christo Popov, so he's already played against a left-hander. And in the second round, he played against uh, Lu Guangzhou of China, the beaten finalist at the fairly recent China Open. So he's played against a left-hander and he's played against a Chinese player already. Ready to play. So he should be ready for a Chinese left-hander. Our umpire for this one is Henrik Boas from Denmark. Fabio Beto from Italy is the service judge. Chinese coaching bench, Sun Jun and Xiao Bin. And for the Indonesian, Iwansia. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wing Hong Yang, China. And on my left, Anthony Sunisuka, Kenting, Indonesia. Anthony Sunisuka, Kenting, to serve. Love all, play. 
And the fact that Anthony Ginting is serving from the near side of the court means that the left-hander must have chosen to receive. Serves over. One love. So I think the head-to-head -head statistics, many people will be surprised that Wing Hong Yang has won both of the previous encounters. Yeah. There's certainly a very good reason why perhaps Anthony Ginting was not playing well the last time they met at the Malaysian Masters 500 event. Good rally. Very good rally. Yeah, that is absolutely superb by Anthony Sinusuka Ginting. Of course, Ginting earlier this year, not so long ago, had the bereavement of the death of his mother. And I think he was affected by the fact that she was terminally ill on several tournaments. Yeah. Of course he would be. So when you look at the two players, Steen and their styles of play, you know, to me, I said uh, on a social media post earlier today that two, Anthony Ginting one. was aesthetically pleasing to watch. And by that I, I meant, you know, he's got this wonderful movement. He's got great technical skills. He's, he's easy to watch. He's pleasant to watch. Yeah, rhythmic. Yes. Serves over to all. Yeah, you could see, uh, or you could say that Wang Hong Yang, um, Technically, it's, it looks a little bit more um, as a training product, but nonetheless efficient. And he's got a, a big attack, in my opinion. The left-hander. Were you good deception? Yeah, super smash. Yeah, I I agree with that, Steen. I, I think he's still a little raw, Wing Hong Yang. I mean, you look at his results this year. He's played 17 previous tournaments to this, yeah. and 14 of those 17 tournaments he's lost in the first or second round. <laughs> yeah, it, it's. It, it takes a lot to be able to cope with the different playing styles you you play and the opponents are also looking at the Chinese men's singles at Ball the moment, the newcomers, Li Shifeng, Bing Hong Yang, um, they're a little bit more used to Xi Yuqi and, and Lu Guang Su, we've seen them for a while, but but he's new and he's come under scrutiny and I don't think it's a coincidence that the Ginting fires a cross smash towards the backhand side of um, Bing Hong Yang recalls some matches I've seen him play with Anas Antonsen where the solution definitely was in the backhand side of uh, the Chinese player. There you go, right? Yeah, Five, that's a little wild. Three. Wasn't committed going forward. China, the uh, gold medal at the Asian Games, playing uh, Hong Yang in the team event. Beating uh, Manjunat from India and giving China a 3 2 victory. Seven, three. So that to me is a sign that the Chinese coaches trust him. Yeah. That they play him as the third single in such a decisive match. I agree. 
And weren't China love two down? In the, they were love two down. In the final against India. Managed to come back and win the men's team gold. Just long. Eight, three. Well, this is five straight points. That's landed in this time. Wing oh, Yang well, challenges Wing Hong Yang in. begs to differ. Calls for the instant review to adjudicate for him. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. Well done, my judge. Challenge remaining. Five, eight, play. Serves over nine, five. Great play, that cross drop here. This one. Yeah, because there was quite a big swing of the racket, wasn't yeah. there? It looked as if he was going to try and kill it. And then that cross court net shot was played to perfection. Oh, he takes it so early. And see Ginting at the front of the court, and he's so Six. well balanced and poised Nine. as he plays his shot. A fault called for a double hit there from Anthony Ginting. Let's have another look at it. Mm. Yeah. Marginal or...? As long as it's one with, with one action of the racket, I thought it was OK. Anyway, it's 11-6 advantage to Wing Hong Yang at the mid-game interval. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven six. Oh, 
So a five-point advantage for the left-hander from China, Wing Hong Yang. Play. And I have to say, I think the left-hander has played extremely well so far. Excellent. Yeah. Do you think he's been advised to try and up the pace, pace of movement, that take it be, earlier? That would be reasonable. And I think also to uh, try and start attacking to the forehand of uh, Wei Hong Yan and then change it over to the backhand. I think there will be openings. Definitely taking the initiative now, this man, Anthony Ginting. 9, 11. over 12 9 excellent so we should turn a little deception then to the left shoulder of uh, Ginting what a perfect net shot 13 9 yeah, nothing you can do about that. Oh, my goodness, that's loose. Oh, he's missed it. Touch over 10, 13. Well, a desperately loose net shot from Anthony Ginting should have been severely punished. Well, Wing Hong Yan will not be happy with himself for that miss. There. 11 13. White ball, please. I think he was hoping for the shell to go wide. Twelve thirteen. 
Definitely some possibilities for um, Ginting in the backhand side, as mentioned, and then combined with the short forehand. Six of the last eight points to Ginting. Serves over 14, 12. This change from 14. the forehand side of Beng Hong Young to the uh, backhand side. certainly know he can play on the Korean Open 500 event last year having been promoted from the reserve list <laughs> and beat Jonathan 15. Christie in the final in fact he's had a couple 13. of wins over Jonathan Christie yeah. also beat him in the first round of this year's All England <laughs> Championships I, I think he has a really high top level and uh, there's some gaps in his game still the way I see it but he's also got good help in, in the coaching chairs by Sun Jun and Chao Bin. Sun Jun definitely knows how to build a 14, solid uh, base game. gone too long. It's over 16, 14. for a moment that was going to be the most sensational defensive shot Perfect headshot. Yeah, that's not too shabby either, is it? What a fabulous smash. Super attacking uh, game, Wing Hong Young. When he's given the time. Thank you. Don't have 
into the corner. 15, 19. So with that super return, fifteen. there's five game point opportunities for Wing Hong Yang. Game. Only needed the one. Well, he thoroughly deserved that opening game. The Chinese left-handed Wing Hong Yang. 21-15. Hong Yang. 21-15 confirms the umpire. Came out strongly. Attacked from the start, commanded the rallies, and his reward, the first game, 21-15 in 21 minutes. Kalau Second game. Love all. Play. <laughs> so Wing Hong Yang, one game to the good against the number two seed, Anthony Ginting. Of course, from that far side of the court, Ginting will have the opportunity to push through more with his lifts and clears. So, should be able to move his opponent a little better than he could in the opening game. Yeah, and, and put a little bit more pressure on him uh, on the back court. Um, like we've said, um, from this near side, you can play the backcourt, but you can't play it with pressure. But um, the problem is that um, the first two rallies here, we've seen Bang Hong Yang take the initiative, Bang Hong Yang, and, and uh, put pressure on Ginting, attacking. And uh, that's the right thing to do, in my opinion. So it could be um, dangerous times for Ginting. I, I thought the coaching looked a little bit like, um, well, do the best you can today from uh, Ewan Sire instead of do whatever you can to win. Yeah. He is, he, I think the coach is quite a laid back Three, sort of character, five. though, don't you? That, yeah. you know, if, if, if you're not that sort of character to say, come on, you've got to do everything you possibly yeah. can to win, you know, and you say it in a, in a nice way, he might be saying it, but it just, you felt it didn't come across that way. Yeah, but, but I, I also feel that, that Ginting is, is not at his best yet. No. He's still in, in mourning uh, somehow. Yeah, um, and that's perfectly understandable. Yeah. 
and and that's why I think uh, Ewan Sai is sort of like um, sort of um, protecting him a little bit. Yeah. Oops. Well. Oh, Excellent. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So he's ready. Bing Hong Young. Five. Love. Headshot. Good shot. Yeah. Six over. One, five. And that's, of course, also one of the question marks when you're coaching. You don't know what the opponent is coming out um, with for a plan. And uh, I think Wei Hong Yang has come out with the right plan. Attacking, upping the pace. Thank you. His shots, if he's attacking, putting pressure on uh, Ginting, will steal seconds One, away from uh, the Indonesian's decision making, limit the uh, possibilities because of the drift. Shots arrive a little bit earlier on uh, Ginting's side One. than normally. Challenge Anthony that. Sinisuga, Ginting, challenge, called. And I thought out. that clipped the line. Uh, that was a close one. No, you missed it. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Seven, one. Going back to the coaching play. thing, Steen, do you not think that it's the job of the, the coach to consider first and foremost the well-being of their athlete? Yes. Yeah. So if the time isn't right for Anthony Ginting to, to be pushed because of the bereavements, then he shouldn't be pushed. No, I don't think so. I, I, I agree. Search yeah. Over. yeah. Good. Two, seven. I, it's just the way you said about the, the coaching there. I, I, I interpret oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe as a bit of a criticism that, no, that no, once really. here wasn't, wasn't sort of firing him up more. Or no, it wasn't meant that way. Okay. It was just um, um, sort of... Um, another one just behind you. An observation okay. of how I um, interpreted it, and um, Thank you. I can totally understand him. It's the same if you have a player who's really, really tired or dealing with a small injury, and so you know that he, you, you can try and push, but the player is not Two. able to, to do what you're suggesting. Seven. So it makes no sense sort of yeah. getting all uh, uh, worked up about it. And I think he said himself, Jin Ginting, that uh, in, in the beginning he, he didn't really want to play badminton, but then he's realized that he's got to work through this and somehow find the joy of playing badminton again. Yeah. And um, sometimes, unfortunately, things happen that makes badminton less important in our lives. And we just have to find a way to cope with it and, and get yeah. on. The show must go on, isn't that what they say? Yeah. Just wide. Nine. Two. But I think he's 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 got to be the one to decide when the time is right. He's got to be the one to say, hey, now, yeah. that, this is not 
what I want. Let's let's go. Yeah. Steps over. Three, nine. But uh, I mean, over. it also sounds a little bit like I want to take Ten something away three. from uh, Bing Hong Yan, and that's not at all no. uh, the case because uh, he has played absolutely magnificent. Ginting has already won two matches in this tournament, so so he's not playing um, really bad or anything. No. But uh, Bing Hong Yan has just showed that um, I'm ready to compete and I'm not moving an inch. Yeah. 11-3. 11 11-3, 11 the advantage. It really is a commanding lead, having already won the first. And as you were saying, Steve, he's playing quite brilliantly when Hong Yang. <laughs> Panjangin, silangin, simpen lagi supaya dia kamu ada kesempatan untuk ditembakkan dari belakangnya. Port one twenty seconds. Port one Eleven, three. Play. <laughs> That's amazing. Absolutely fabulous rally. Had just about everything in that. Eleven. Oh, in the back. Super final kill, wasn't it? Timing on that. Five, eleven. Stand forward. Thank you. A little bit of increased pace with Ginting in these two rallies here, I Five, suspect. 11. But uh, you're right, Steve. Wen Hong Yang is matching that pace, really, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> yes. Five. to that um, around the head Five. corner.
And he's young and hungry. Bing Hong Yang wants to play many more tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> wants to beat a lot of the uh, players that he's been uh, watching on television. Now he's there himself. Just superb. That's the first opportunity in the rally that he had to attack, and he plays an outright 14, winner. Five. Yeah, I was just thinking with, with the basic game, with the defense and patience like that, you go a long way. And then he's also got that um, attacking weapon there. I think we're going to hear much more of him. The backhand cross court clear. 16. Was very short. 16. From Wing Hong Yang. That gave the opportunity to Ginting. But lovely disguise on that drop shot. The reverse slice. Thank you. Sixteen. Serves over seventeen. Six. Not the birthday I suspect he was hoping for. I was just about to say, he, he's playing some really good shots. Uh, occasionally, Anthony Ginting, but there's no birthday gifts from uh, Veng. No. It's gone long. Oh, it's called so good. It's over 7 17. Well, he must have clipped the line because there was no challenge there from Wen Hong Yang. No, he just accepted it. Fort. Oh, that's over. clever awareness from the left-hander. Using the body smash and using it at the perfect time. Bing, bing. 
lige på tavlen. Jeg gætter ham på. Okay. Thank you. Eight, eighteen. Well, oh, it's a mountain to climb from here for Ginting. Oh, that's right into the corner. Oh! Enter the Sinisuka Ginting yeah. challenges yeah. called out. I'm not surprised that's the challenge. I saw that as perfect, but we're not in the best position to see the line judges. Yeah, but it was in. Correction. Good challenge. Ginting. players on court. 9, 18. Play. Service over two points 19, away nine. from the semi final in his first ever appearance here at the Denmark Open, Wing Hong Yang. And also up here, Saolinian, Saolinian. Is it okay? Thank you. Nineteen. Nine. Two points away from beating the number two seed. Yep. One point away. A whole host of match point opportunities match point for Wing nine. Hong Yang. Well, it was a superb performance by Wen Hong Yang right from the onset of the match. He was obviously in very determined mood. He was also in very match sharp by form. Wen Hong Yang, 21-15, 21-9. 21-15, 21 21-9 confirms the umpire. It wasn't Ginting's day today. But as Steam was saying, take nothing away from Wen Hong Yang because he played quite brilliantly. Wonderful performance by him. And he will play against Shi Yu Chi, the defending champion in the semi final tomorrow. Confirmation of that scoreline 21 15, 21 9 in 44 minutes.
Welcome back to Odense. And we stick with uh, men's singles on quarterfinals day here at the Denmark Open. The next up is uh, Rasmus Gemke, who was in the final of this tournament three years ago. He's up against Li Chia Kyu of Hong Kong, China. In fact, the man from Hong Kong, China.